Ew. Hi, I'm Sarah. I dig out my boogers with makeup wipes. <laughs> Welcome. Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm talking all about the August BoxyCharm. Uh, spoiler alert, it's a banger. If you wanna see what I got in my box, then just hang out. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. This retails for $42, zang. <laughs> it says on the card, this multitasking beauty elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy youthful complexion no matter what skin type you have. The spill proof dropper allows you to use it one drop at a time. Well, it's not really a dropper so much as it's like a squeeze tube, but okay, that's fine. Okay, so I've gone back in time to a bare face with eyebrows. But anyways, I'm gonna apply this face oil. Mmm, <gasps> it's pink. So before I applied the rest of my makeup that I have on right now, I did use this oil. There's no fragrance. It's very lightweight. It wasn't sticky or tacky and it wasn't too, too greasy, greasy feeling. It just felt really nice and hydrating and my makeup is laying on top of it very nicely. So I will give this a go. You know, sorry that this is more of a first impression kind of a discussion with this particular product because I've only just used it this one time, but I really like this brand. Wander Beauty has really been coming out with some really great things, especially skincare related. So $42 is a lot to pay for a face oil. However, if you got it in your BoxyCharm, let me know what you think about it. The next thing that we're gonna talk about you guys, is this Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. This retails for $39. The card here says, this weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth and visible finish formulated with 50% water and glycerin. This powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and a comfortable feel. I'm pretty sure that Kelly, my best friend Kelly, told me all about this powder months ago. So this is not new, it's new to me. I remember her telling me that she really liked it. She lives in a very hot climate. She lives in Key West. So I remember her telling me, oh, it just feels so good on the skin. It's very refreshing. And I'm like, yeah, cool girl. You know, glad that you found a good powder that works. There's some, there's some kind of witchcraft in this. I don't know what it is, but let me show you. Well, it's very fine because it's dusting up everywhere. What? It feels wet. That was weird. Huh. It's, this is, this is crazy, you guys. It feels wet. It feels like cool and wet. I'm just kind of patting it on. That's normally what I do with powders. It says on the lid, keep me closed to keep me cool. Well, I don't know what kind of witchcraft is in this. It looks lovely. Wow, it is cooling. It feels wet like water. This is crazy. It feels wet, but it's not pulling the makeup away. Oh, that looks like, like skin. It looks natural. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm a little bit speechless. Have you guys tried this? I feel like, I feel like Kelly, my best friend, I feel like she has been using this powder and telling me about it, but I didn't use it. And I did not retain any of the conversations that we probably had about this. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> did you guys get this in your box? Have you tried this before? I don't think this is new, but this is new to me. And I really like it. Mm, awesome. So I applied this powder on top of my foundation. The foundation that I'm wearing today is this Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation. It's amazing. First of all, it feels wet, but it doesn't lift off the makeup underneath. What? It's cooling, it's refreshing. It just looks lovely on the skin. Look at it. It doesn't look cakey at all. I used it with this Real Techniques Instapop face brush. See how it's got that taper? I just kind of pressed it onto my skin. I didn't do any like swirling motions. And then I used a smaller brush right under my eyes and y'all, it's awesome. If you have dry skin, if you have super oily skin, I think this is gonna work really well for you. I think I have just found my new go-to powder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about are these eyeshadows. This is from Ace Beauty. It's the Glimmer Shadow Duo. These look suspiciously just like the ColourPop Super Shock shadows right down to like the quilted kind of surface. 
appearance. You can definitely see how I've stuck my finger in these already. I wanna do a very kind of easy eye look so we can use these. I used this pink one yesterday. This color is called Cotton Candy, adorable. It's pink with a gold reflect. It's so shiny and shimmery. The camera's like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little bit of bronzer in my crease just to help blend this. And then I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. This is iced latte. So let's get to it. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna dip into a light to medium brown color and I'm just putting this low in the crease. Good God, that zit on my face is large and in charge. You guys, I had a very productive day. Do you ever have one of those days that it's like, feels so long because you did so much stuff? That's me today. I'm filming this on a Sunday and I woke up pretty early, like seven-ish, got myself together, got up, had a big glass of water because I'm responsible. And then I went to the supermarket and I went to Target and then I came home and did all my meal prep for the week. And then I went on a cleaning spree. I mopped my floors and I live in a townhouse and there's a million stairs. I cleaned all the stairs. I also cleaned the kitty litter box room. I'm, I'm like obsessed with Pine Sol right now. I know it's like probably super toxic and you probably shouldn't be using it, whatever. But I like the way it smells when it's dry. Like it just makes your house smell like super fresh. Also kind of takes me back to my childhood, if I'm being honest. Mom used Pine Sol on freaking everything. Is that a Southern thing? Is that a Midwestern thing? It's funny, my family is definitely Midwestern. We're from Ohio, but we grew up, you know, mom and dad and my sister and I in North Carolina. So I definitely was raised in the South by Midwesterners. Weird, I know. I have the best of all those quirks. I'm gonna take this glimmer shadow in the color Ice Latte. I'm gonna use my fingertip. Nope, you know what, I'm gonna use a brush first. <laughs> Sorry. I got this really fun brush from Wet n Wild. This is from the Pac-Man collection. Look how fun. It's got glitter inside. You know, glitter's my favorite color. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna dip it into this gold shadow. Okay, so the application with a brush is subtle. So I think this is really meant for finger applications. So that's good to know. Let's just do that then. Oh yeah. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So like if you wanted a more subtle look, a more subtle finish, definitely use a brush. If you want that color payoff to be like, kapow, then use a brush. I'm just going to soften those edges with my little Pac-Man brush. Don't sleep on wet and wild brushes, man. They're super soft. This one is super adorable. <laughs> and they, they work really nice. Oh, that's cute. Mucho Subtilo. So that Glimmer Shadow Duo retails for $25. It says, high pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture specifically designed for the ultimate color payoff. Yeah, so the color payoff is really nice. The texture is lovely. You can really see how I've dug my finger into that pot. Like there's definitely a dent in there. I'm not so sure if it's the same type of quality. I don't have any of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, so be your own judge but you know for $25 you get two shadows they're lovely colors I think you could really make these bold and you could definitely make them wearable as you can see um next is a mascara and you know I love mascara this one is from Tarte it is the big ego mascara this retails for $23 it says it's an ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. So I love the packaging. The packaging is heavy and luxe and hot pink, so you won't lose it in that drawer. You will know exactly which one it is. Let me give my lashes a curl and then let's get to applying some mascara. So I have used this mascara since the box arrived, but I was layering it on top of another mascara. So let's see how this works on its own. What I did notice about this formula is that it appears to be um, drier right out of the tube than, you know, other mascaras tend to be. This brush is really big. It's like the Better Than Sex hourglass shape. So far, so good. I really like the texture of this mascara not being too wet. That's kind of a recipe for disaster for me in particular. So because I have to work so hard to make sure that my lashes are covered all the way down to the roots because my lashes are white, a drier formula of mascara is better for me because the wetter ones tend to like travel. You know what I mean? Like if I'm getting a little too aggressive, trying to like 
work it down into my lashes, it's gonna touch my lid, ruin my eyeshadow look, and then I'm sitting here with like a tiny brush trying to like, you know, correct my mistake. And I don't get that with this at all. It's covering very nicely. And this is only one coat, so let's do another. Oh yeah, that's nice. You know, I have to get really aggressive to cover up my eyelashes and I'm not getting any transfer at all. Like there's no mistakes. Awesome. So I have already worn this and I was layering it on top of another mascara on top of roller lash. So I didn't really have, you know, an accurate kind of wear test of it alone, but it didn't crumble or transfer or uh, run or any of that stuff. I didn't have any raccoon eyes. I was definitely out and about walking in the summer evening air and uh, it wore very nicely. The issue that I have with better than sex mascara is that it crumbles and then little black flecks are all over my face. So better than sex mascara is canceled for me, but this one, I really like it. It retails for $23, it's vegan, it goes on really well, the brush is nice, the package is great. I mean, what's not to like? Okay, the last thing in the box is a lip liner pencil. This lip liner pencil is from Steve Laurent. This retails for $15. Reshape, resize, and redefine your pout. This lip pencil is total magic. It smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish, completely waterproof. Completely waterproof, so no transferring or bleeding all day long, last up to seven hours. Well, I can't prove any of that because I haven't used it yet. I only just opened it up. This color that I received is called Vogue. Oh yeah, it's like a dusty rose natural. It's perfectly for me. So I'm going to put it on and pair it with whatever I have in front of me. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, what I'm, what I'm curious to see is how it is going to behave with my lips. So I have noticed that my lips kind of play me a little bit when I'm trying to line them. I have like an old lady wrinkle here and one on this side too. It, uh, it looks like I was a smoker or something. I was not, by the way. Whatever, let's see if it uh, goes on nice and smooth. Hmm, well that's one side done. I will tell you that the texture of the pencil is a little bit more firm. It's not gonna give you that creamy, slippery texture that you sometimes get with lip liners. Oh yeah, this side is the worst with that old lady wrinkle and it went right over. No skipping at all. I mean, this color really couldn't be more perfect either. It's like, it's like my natural lip color, but a little bit better. Beautiful. Nice. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lipstick on top. Pretty, pretty and natural. And I really like it. Feels nice, it's not dry, but it's not too slippery either. Sometimes, I mean, it can go either way. Sometimes a, a pencil is too hard and it just like will not go on. And then sometimes it's like too soft and you can't control it and it just gets on everything. So let's recap the box. We got this, we got the Becca powder, we got the Wander oil, the Tarte mascara, the Ace Beauty eyeshadow pots, and the lip liner. What a great box all around. I really like it. Man, BoxyCharm's been killing it. Makes me nervous that the next box is gonna be a dud, but maybe not, maybe not. Okay, I think that this was a really great box. Let me know what you got in your box if you got something different. Let me know how you feel about the products if we got the same things. If you're not already subscribed to BoxyCharm and you would like to be, just check down in the description box for a link. It will take you there so that you can <laughs> sign up for BoxyCharm. Also included in the description box is all the makeup that I'm wearing on my face and all of the products that I got in my box. So while I have you here, I just wanna say thank you for being awesome. When I did that makeup tag video a couple videos ago, the comments that I got on it were overwhelmingly positive and awesome and I just wanna say thanks for being you and thanks for appreciating me for just being me. Okay, I think that is it for BoxyCharm this month. Have, how many times have I said BoxyCharm? Is anybody keeping track? Is anybody drinking? Taking shots? Every time I say BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm! Thank you so much for watching today and for hanging out. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I upload here on YouTube every Thursday at noon. You can also follow me on all of my social channels. I think that's it. <laughs> I'll catch you next week in next week's video. Bye. Look down on the screen. Ah.
Wow, that's the same thing. Stupid. Mm, hello. You guys enjoying this zit? It's very upsetting. Unsubscribe. Focus. Hello. I have. <clears throat> Come on. Butthole. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. So apply this, whatever this is, <laughs> face oil. <gasps> Fuck, just spilled a bunch of it. <sighs> what an idiot. Um, also, guess what? Next week, crew time, and it's messed up. <laughs>